Yo, what's up everyone, Project Moto here. Um, today, finally, we're gonna have an unboxing look and ride of a bike that we have been waiting for for ages. But it is finally here, it's the new Desert X. Liam's doing it today. Because we got the tallest bike. The Melman unboxing. Because we got the tallest bike, we need the tallest person. If Paul unboxed this bike, you wouldn't have seen him. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see him behind the crate. Nah. This is weird that it's in a scrambler box. Yeah. I'm excited for this. Should we take it off road? How long we've been waiting for this for? Months. I've got to go really far back to get you all the way in it. Paul is easy. You to crouch? Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. He's on a day off. He's had the whole week off. So this is the new oh. Desert X, 110 horsepower, 202 kilos, 875 mil seat height. What does that mean? That means that's what tall for me, short for you. Yeah, maybe have to fit on this one. Yeah. Do you know how much these are? I don't. Have You're a guess. 12495. Oh, 12495. They're 14095. Yeah, I, I already thought I'd put two grand in. Yeah. So. This is the demonstrator, so we can ride this. Have you actually seen one of these before or not? I haven't, no. I didn't oh. see it. I didn't see it at the show. I didn't see it on the dealer tour. It has got the same engine as the Multishrider V2. Does it? Hypermotor, Monster, Super Sport, but it's lighter. 1.7 kilos lighter. And it's got six rider modes. Six? Yep. You've got, got two designated off-road ones. I think they just basically turn everything off. <laughs> no traction control, no ABS. No, no wheelie control. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> There's got to be something in the water around here, isn't there? Yeah. I get Liam to lay down, we make a little jump or something. Mm, like Evil Knievel. Yeah, like you used to do with BMXs. Lay down, we do some jumps. Big car ball. Yeah. Lay down, we're on his chest. <laughs> yeah. I would trust literally anyone else. <laughs> here she is. All the way from the Sahara Desert. Yeah, we've got loads of deserts around here to get <laughs> blasting around on. I've got to go and crash it off-road first before anyone can ride it. Oh yeah, there is that. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> What'd you do, Jubilee weekend, Liam? Had a barbecue. Another one? It's bank holiday, isn't it? Did so you have Tomahawks? I didn't have a time. Was you grilling in a field with cows again? It's like saying off the hairy bikers Same looking place. at Liam's Instagram. Grilling Tomahawk <laughs> whilst in a field with cows. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that land clearance is? I don't. It lied to me. Have a guess. <laughs> oh. Five and a half inches. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't. That's why I said it. <laughs> Alright, so what's that? About 15 centimetres, 16 centimetres or something. No, 25. 25. It's 10 25 inches, centimetres. 10 inches. I was, I was wrong. Um, that's the first step of admitting that you're wrong. Look at that. Needs a screen and stuff on it. Look at that. Once all this is on. Look, did you see that little screen? Look, mm. look at the screen on it. It's upright. It changed it, mate. Mm. Well, they put it sideways. They do the extra tank that goes on the side. Yeah. And you get a side panel that side, it comes out. 10 litres or so, isn't it? Yeah. How big are your panniers? Would it make more sense to fill your panniers up? <laughs> yeah. Right, so here it is, the Desert X out. Obviously it looks a little bit strange because it hasn't got this um, top bit of fairing on yet. But we're going to get it in the workshop, get it all built. Sit on it. See how Give it a go. Oh, Ooh. easy for you. Look at that. Not even flat. Flat. Look. Oh, there you go. The bars feel thinner than a multistrada, don't they? They do, yeah. I quite like the seat. I like the look of that seat. Right, yeah, so we've got to get all the bits on this. Got to get the screen on it. Because um, if you haven't seen these lights on, they're so cool, the LED lights on this. I like it. I like it. Screen. Some bits in there, isn't there? Right. That's the retro mirrors as well. 
got Mickey Mouse ears. Nice pair of handguards. Rob. Tyler, how are you doing on there? It's not as big as that KTM. Do you remember that KTM that came in? Yeah. And I literally could Is not. It, hold on, put your feet down. <laughs> Liam's flat footed on there. I know. He'd get on the back and get flat footed though, wouldn't he? I quite like that seat. I'll tell you what, the actual position is quite. Yeah, it's well. nice. Does it need painting? Stands a bit upright. But normally you lean it over and, and then, you know, a midget can just get off safely. But this. Yeah, you can't even get off that safely, can you? Like falling off. I quite, like, I quite like it. Yeah. It looks a bit old school as well. Yeah, that's it? what I said, it's really retro. Even that, even yeah, the, the back, light and back light and everything is, isn't it? Fire, oh, yeah. that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that. That is cool. Fucking hell, Liam. That is cool. Just less of that language, please. Yeah, put the mirrors on. Yeah, do you know who I am? The other day, do you know who I am? He goes, I'm John Wick. I went, John Wick? Or oh, a fucking candle wick. <laughs> Let's dress this thing. It's like me when I put my wig on. It finishes it off. Hold on, come here, John Wick. Let's do a matrix thing. Stand there, sit. Stand there. Hold on. We've got to do some of these. I wish I'd never said that. Why? What Cause John Wick? Because it, it was just a joke, and I've now never seen John Wick. Yeah, right, it's a joke. No, I've never even seen John Wick. I'm you know. more, I'm more insulted that you've never seen John Wick, considering he's like the fucking G of all Gs in fighting. Yeah, but I can't take Keanu Reeves seriously. He's probably one of the most nicest. You've never seen Will and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Why are you leaving your rubbish just because you're going on holiday? Where are you going? Stupid bin. Where are you going on holiday? Tenerife. 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 I'm going to film it all. I'm going to be a fly on the wall documentary. Yeah, Is this it now? You're off tonight. She's done. Yeah. We've got Donna and Co now. Thank you finally. Is that you your guys going to miss me? Of course. I'm not going to I sleep for a week. me already. I'm not going to sleep for a week. <laughs> Right, so here it is, the Desert X finally built. It's the next day, so the weather is still a little bit cloudy and sunny, but it is quite nice. Let's just have a little look at this all built now. Liam put it together, Paul had a day off. He's back in today, so we're going to have a little word with him. You know what I do like about these? Let's have a little look at them lights. They look the nuts, mate. This is it, 21 inch front wheel, 18 inch rear wheel. It's got some cool little functions on it, like off of the Enduro. Look, you can raise, height of the rear brake that's pretty cool really so it has got a lighter engine that's in the Multistrada V2 but yeah it just looks cool and retro I like the steering damper on there the clocks are pretty cool but yeah so we're gonna take this out we're gonna put some miles on it first because this is our demonstrator then we'll have a little ride of it and hopefully at some point we're gonna uh, do a little bit of off-road on it if it's an off-road bike okay the Desert X. We've been waiting for this for a while. It's done no miles. Uh, we've got a bit of fuel. Let's do this. Got brakes firm. It's a little bit bumpy there. Doesn't matter on the Desert X. So, we're getting to a little bit about this bike. It's 202 kilos dry weight. They're 110 brake horsepower. It's got an up and down quick shifter on it. It's really soft. So we're just going to put some miles on this. Here's a demonstrator saying there's a little few miles put on it. Oh, it's quite warm today. Um, actually quite like the upright screen on it. It does just look like a Panigale screen that's turned the other way, which it probably is. I don't know why I'm messing about going round the roundabouts. I might as well just go over them. Straight away the bike is mega comfortable. Man, if you do do some sort of off-road, it's comfy. I know most of the time off-road and things you're going to be standing up, but if you ain't, this seat is like really comfortable. Um, for the road, mirror's good. Quick shifter, really nice. Um, the turning of it is actually fine. This is Ducati's first sort of designated off-road bike, although we're riding it on the road. Let's just cool down a bit, open the vents on my lid. I tell you, like, if you haven't got one of these lids, these vents, they are so good. Let's 
Right, so these bikes, 110 horsepower. Um, they've got the uh, 937 Desmodronic engine in them, which is the same as in the Monster, the Multistrada V2, um, Hypermotor and Supersport. Again, this is slightly different. Um, change of fins, I think it's 1.7 kilos lighter. I'll tell you, these cut the bumps there, on any other bike, you really feel them. This, nothing at all. The rear suspension is quite soft. Okay, wind protection is actually really good. There's not really any wind, any wind to about there on me. If you're probably a little bit taller, you might get a little bit, but even at speed here, look, nothing. It's not until above my helmet that my hand gets blown back. It's a 21 litre tank on this bike, but you can get a reserve tank that goes like a side panel on the side of the bike. It does look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick some miles on this for a little bit um, and have a little ride. Then we'll come back and uh, yeah, we'll see what this bike's like. I know of a little track around here. Oh mate. The guy who, uh, who owns the track down the bottom there, yeah. is, we, is he about or not? Or? Uh, he's just gone off. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Oh, that's alright, that's alright. Yeah, that's alright. Alright, yeah, I'll come back in a little while. Cheers, mate. Alright, so we may have found somewhere that we can ride this thing off road, but we'll have a little word with a guy. Alright, so after riding it, I'm actually impressed with how good it does actually ride on the road. It's got that usual sort of effortless feel of the multi shoulder that that has well these were nice little lanes that i didn't know were here yes finally i'm in a gang well i think it's probably time to depart the gang If you just want something that looks cool, can go off road, does everything you probably want it to do on road, it's a cool bike. It's really nice round the bends. But really, I don't know what Ducati have done over these last few years with the range of bikes that they've got. I mean really, right from like what we rode the other day, the, the Urban Motard Scrambler, you know, and then you've got all these sort of uh, 950 engine bikes, the Multistrada V2, the Super Sport, the Hyper Motard, the Monster, this Desert X, you know, and then things like the Panagali V2, the V4, the SPs, all the Street Fighters. They are just such good crazy bikes. Fucking like, seriously, awesome. But yeah, this rides on oh, a road bike better than I thought. So that was a quick look, unboxing and a quick ride of the Desert X. I was actually really impressed at how it actually rides on the road. Um, I know it is their kind of designated off-road bike, but it's actually like a really good road bike as well. You can kind of feel that 21 inch front wheel over something like the Multistrada, but um, I still think it handles really good. Now it's had a few miles on it, we will put some more miles on it. And uh, like I say, hopefully I had a little chat with a guy at a farm. So hopefully we're gonna to get to have a ride of it off-road. If not, we're just going to have to find some uh, little um, green lanes and bits where we can actually go and ride the bike. But yeah, first impressions, it is another good bike. Like I say in other videos with that 950 engine or 937cc engine, it is an awesome road engine. And the way they've kind of geared it and the bigger sprocket on the rear and stuff, yeah, it gets through the gears quite quick on the road. 
and all of a sudden you're in fifth, sixth gear, you know. But off road, that's going to come into its own, really. If you literally live anywhere in the country, rural, you know, it's going to be awesome. You will literally be able to go anywhere. I think JK has done like an awesome job on this bike, and yeah, it's been a bit delayed, but to be honest, again, another bike that's been worth the wait as always guys thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it this is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes so maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and uh i'll see you again soon thanks very much for watching where was you yesterday i had the day off what for oh. what do you want a day off for i needed a day off oh did you yeah so we've had to unbox the bike Without you. It was hard filming somebody who could see over the top of the box. Usually I can get it all in one shot, but with Liam unboxing it, it's quite hard. I like try to get a drone out. What bike <laughs> did you unbox? The Desert X. Desert X. Can you do me a favour? People are going to ask about seat height and I want to just test something. Yeah. Can on. you come with me a sec? So you being what, how tall? Six foot. Six foot, right. Hello Al. What's your name? Right. How you doing mate? Just jump on that, tell me what you think height wise. Is it, what is it like? It's like most multis. Right. That's all right, yeah. Cool. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Soft. Is he videoing you? Yeah, I'm videoing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. videoing We're in it as well now. <laughs> yeah, that feels all right. Yeah. The riding position feels all right, doesn't it? Comfy. Looks like I've got a phone on here, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like a V2 just been turned around the other way. Oh, look who's here. Yeah. Hello, oh, Donna. Hello. Come out for a ride, Donna. <laughs> Yeah. I'll probably go and get my leg over on that. I'll be getting my leg over, I tell you. <laughs> there you go. Where Look do you want at to that. Stick? I'll drink it here. I mean, that's, I mean, is that just living the best life? It's fantastic latte on the motorbike? Yeah, that is. Imagine what breakfast in bed's like. I'm thinking of that now. <laughs> no time for breakfast. <laughs> Don't just spill no coffee on that new bike. At least you can sit on it. Yeah. I'm struggling now getting off with a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's a nice coffee you've got there, isn't it? It looks Look good, that. doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that. No heart though on it. No, I've stirred it in. Oh, have you? Yeah. Thanks. Try not to have another day off, will you? I'm having a week off, so morning now. Oh, yeah? What do you mean you're having a week off? I need a week off. Why? Well, I'm preparing myself for Tra Saint Tropez. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Our little Saint Tropez trip. Yeah. That we'll show the world. We might take that. Yeah, let's take the Desert X. Fuck yeah, because there's like all them little trails up in the mountains. Let's get another one. We'll take one each. Yeah. God, I tell you, this is why you're in charge. I'm glad I am.